I do wonder about people sometimes, Peter. Hmm. Um, now, if you're listening to this show, there's a good chance that you know that the Yankees are in Seattle or the Mets are at City Field. I mean, if you're listening to a sports show, right? You think so. And if you're following me on Twitter, you probably know I'm in Seattle doing the games. Are you Seattle? Right? Yeah. So there's a guy from Manhattan. I guess um, former President Trump is having no, a Long Island rally at Nassau Coliseum. And News 12 Long Island had this big story about this guy, Michael K. They didn't show him that waited 24 hours in line to see the former president. That's a lot. So people just t tweeting at me, oh, I didn't know you leaned that way. Good for you. Other people, oh, you're so, I'm so disappointed. Blah, blah. Dude, I'm in Seattle. So if you're following me on Twitter, wouldn't you know I'm in Seattle? That I wouldn't be well, waiting 24 hours in Long Island? Now, there's a lot of dumb people. But I wonder... The way it was written was 24-hour journey, so knowing that you were in Seattle, did somebody actually think that you flew from Seattle? No, no, he had drove. Drove. Or, the guy had a car. <laughs> yeah, that would be jumped. something. I, I, I knew somebody who claimed they were able to do it in 30 hours. Like, if you go From straight, Seattle? No, um, well, just it was to California. Okay. But, like, across the country, if you didn't stop, I, it, it would still take longer than 24 hours, right? I would think so, yeah. Now, I'm glad I don't tip my hand politically, so you don't know whether I would go to that rally or no. not. Let me just tell you something. But I do tip my hand where I am geographically. I'm in Seattle. Well, you know, and also, can, can, you, can you tip your hand on not being a loser who'd be willing to do that to see anyone? I mean, I'm sorry. Well, that's the thing. Like, the, like the, the rallies, that you don't have to know Michael K. that well. I don't, no matter where you would be politically, Michael, that you would go to a rally. Oh, I would. I, Peter's more right. I would never wait 24 hours for anything or anyone. For any, but of all things, a political rally? I, I just, I guess I don't understand no matter who your party affiliation is, that level of fanship for someone who's supposed to just do their job to serve us. I, I mean, maybe if it was like, you're going to get to see Janet Jackson front row. All right, let's have a conversation. Dave Matthews is playing his last show. I, Paul Simon, you're going to get a meet and greet afterwards. Give me something. A politician talking? Come on. <laughs> and to be clear, any politician is what the, you're saying. If they yeah. told me JFK was coming back from the dead. From the mm. dead? You wouldn't wait I 24 think, hours. I, I, no, I'm not driving 24 hours. Yeah, but, you know, coming back from the dead. It's a big deal. Don't get me wrong. It's leading There's the news. Going that, on at that no, rally. Les, listen, Lester Holt and David <laughs> Muir, they're leading the news with it that night. There's no question. But I don't know if I'm... Don, am I really sitting through it? What would I drive 24, drive 24 hours, 24 for? hours for? It would have to be like the greatest wrestling event of all time. Uh, and maybe I would do that. Uh, you know, a, tight, a Tyson fight? Tyson beats Jake Paul in November. And then, they, and then he well, wins another fight, Don. And then they go, you know what? Tyson versus Tyson. Tyson Fury versus Mike Tyson. All, all the titles are on the line in this wow. made-up event. And the only way I can go is to drive. And Tyson's looked good now. He looks like old Tyson. He's won three in a row. This could be the greatest this moment in the history it. of sports. Maybe. Maybe. I well, think I would, I, I would, would wait 24 hours. Let me, I would wait 24 hours for Springsteen's final show. Final show? Yeah, like he said, I'm never going to perform again. I would wait. Really? Yeah, I think so. My respect it. Now, so if I drove 24 hours from Jersey to, like, where would that get me, you think? Arizona? I don't even think that far, Don. Yeah, all right, maybe. That get me to, all right, how about this? All right, I got to, let's say it's Dallas. Since the flight's so long, I'm sure the drive's even, you know, obnoxious. Game seven, Stanley Cup final, Rangers stars. Mm -hmm. Kenny's on the call. I'm doing pre and post back in New York. I get a phone call the day before the game. Kenny's violently ill, can't do game seven. We need no, you, you, it's a ping pong accident. We, we, we need you in Dallas to call the game. Michael, well, for whatever a, reason. It was a piano accident. <laughs> the, you know, bad weather, it's rain, whatever. Eyes wide I mean, open. There's no flight. I think I would drive 24 hours to get to call that game. I would definitely do that. It would be about 23 hours. Okay. No, calling it, you're definitely doing it. Definitely. But that's for calling it. Yes. Yeah, so no, no, no. For, that's you said, out. Would, you would, no, no, no. 
If you had said, if you had said, Peter, you're going to get to call WrestleMania, I would drive to Hawaii. But what I'm saying is, Don, Probably this is drown. to go to the game. To go to the no. game. No. What about Giants Super Bowl? No. It's 10 years from now. They still haven't won. Marco wants to go. And Marco is a sick fan. He's, at that point, he's a teenager. And it's a father and son drive. Well, no, I would do anything for my son. Yeah, but that, that's not what we're saying. Here. No. I'm sure Michael would do that if Charlie desperately wanted to see something. Michael, you wouldn't do that for Charlie? I would. Yeah, but for just yourself, no. I, I, I've seen the Giants win a Super Bowl. I've been there live for I've it. Saw, I've seen them cry. My, I, I hope that Trump finds out. Uh, the rally already happened. I think it's over. But if, if is it? I thought it was tonight. It's, it might be right now. I don't know. It hasn't happened yet. I hope Trump hears about this Michael K thing and, and then ends up me. shouting out yeah. Michael K because yeah. he likes the Yankees. He loves the Yankees. He's a Yankee.